Today we're chatting about the ninth configuration. <laughs> um, I would call this a footnote to our Exorcist series of reviews. Yes, we were talking about this in previous ones mm -hmm. where we mentioned that apparently Blatty mentioned this was his kind of a re the, the real sequel to The Exorcist, mm. which it isn't in mm -mm. really, and it's also it's not a horror movie. No. So this it's the reason this is in here is because this is part of William Peter Blatty's Faith trilogy. Yes, which is interesting. But going into it, I expected a horror movie, and I was mm. dreadfully disappointed. No, no, I knew it wasn't going to. But be when horror. I got over my disappointment, I thought it was a very good film. Yeah, it's a it's yeah. very different. It's a it's an interesting movie. Yes, it's it's very different. Um, it is um, okay. The the heretic, which we must still see, mm. the the second exorcist, yes. a bit of a cash in. Mm. Whereas you know, Blatty wrote the Exorcist, they made the Exorcist movie. The Ninth Configuration is based on a book published in 1978, about four years. Is it four, five years? Four years after the Exorcist, mm. but. It's a version of a book he wrote in the 60s okay. called uh, Twinkle Twinkle Killer Kane. The ninth configuration is set around the Vietnam War. Yes. Where Colonel Kane is sent to a psychiatric hospital, but it's like a it's an old castle that's been converted. Yes, it's a very, it's a very cool, cool building. Cool building, but a very unlikely place for a... So, I mean, but the whole movie is just so odd, off-center, strange. Absolutely. It kind of hints at being not slapstick but like comedic there's definitely strange moments wit, a very yes it is a complete fantasy idea of what how crazy people would act like these yes. people are sort of post-traumatic stress people from it's all military uh, mm. military guys but you know just the, the kind of uh, comebacks comments it's just way too out there it, it, it's completely yes it's un unrealistic it's for how people would react it's a in those situations it's if a, they are yeah, crazy. It's a parody of a crazy person. Yeah. And also, but but if you remember that it's a comedy, it's a comedy. Well, it's it's not, not a straight comedy either. Yeah, no. If you're going to expect a serious movie, you're going to be disappointed. If you're going to expect a horror, no. A comedy, no. It is like a little cluster of these it's, things. It's not farce. It's not satire. It's just it's this it's strange. It's odd. Yeah, it's very strange. strange. It's also it's Blatty, the writer of Exorcist, mm. and it's his directorial debut. The only other movie he did was ten years later, The Exorcist Three. Yes, but I mean, if you think of of the the actual storyline in this film, is very clever. Mm. Mm. And also don't want to uh, no. do any spoilers, but basically this guy comes in and he interacts with these psychiatric patients. Mm. The patient that he takes an interest in is Kachel, the guy, Kachel, the And character. he, he is a, an astronaut. Yes. And he, I think he flipped out, he didn't... He aborted. Yeah. But now the interesting this, thing... The mission, yes. The connection with this is Regan speaks uh, in the original Exorcist. Mm. She's, she speaks with the Cutshaw astronaut character and tells him he's going to die in Amazing. space. You're going to die up there. So that is the connection there. Yes, and then also Paul didn't see it, but mm. there's a there was a on the balcony. There's a large Pazuzu statue. I saw statues, but I didn't spot. Very them. cool statues all throughout this mm. the set of this this film. But the the Pazuzu, and hopefully it's there. <laughs> hopefully I didn't just see it, but no, no it was there. And, um, and 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 I thought like, oh please, don't tell me that this is the reason he's now saying this is a sequel just because of a statue. Mm. But there is like this astronaut line. Yeah. There's a there's a lot of depth. And some very interesting imagery, mm. like this this astronaut like is on the moon and there's like a crucified Jesus. Yes. And some very and the, the just that kind of gothic interior of this of mm. the setting as well. Mm. And but, it's very juxtaposed with this parody of crazy people. Yeah. This I mean, like, this very cool setting. Like one guy wants to put up a play of Hamlet but with dogs. Dogs, yes. It's it gets so it's not just weird, it's not it's just quite silly. Silly, yes. But also I mean uh, interesting cast members like guys who went on to do other mm. horror stuff like Joe Spinell. He was in Rocky, he had a role in there, he was in The mm. Godfather, and obviously he was in Maniac, mm. the hectic, hectic William Lustig movie. Yeah. And Scott Wilson, he plays the, the astronaut. Mm. 
he's the, well, by the time he made it to Walking Dead, he was an old guy. He was in multiple seasons of The Walking Dead. No, he was brilliant in that, sure. Mm. And Tom Atkins, without a mustache, and Stacy Keach also doesn't have a mustache. And such a handsome Stacy Keach. Tom Atkins, of course, was in The Fog, yes. Halloween 3, right. Creep Show. So Some of these actors are, you almost don't recognize them. Mm. It's amazing. Yeah, it's a very interesting movie, not a horror movie, but we felt compelled because we, we didn't think, we accidentally found it on Tubi mm. when we were scrolling through mm. one day. Mm. We thought, okay, well, let's watch it now since we were busy doing all the Exorcist movies. Mm. And we just feel we need to interject it in here as part of the faith That's trilogy. why I said a, a, a footnote. Yeah. But we'll make a little, we'll have a playlist of the, mm. Mm. up there, you'll find the, the faith trilogy, <laughs> <laughs> the faith trilogy uh, playlist. Um, but it's a, it's entertaining in a way, but also frustrating. Yes. I found it more frustrating. Yeah, it, it, it becomes laboured in parts. Mm. But Lots of shouting and bursting yeah. in it, kind of... And it's also, the, it, it's aged. Mm. The movie's aged mm. terribly. But in saying all of these things, all these negatives, it's still, the story is a good story. Yeah, I mean, mm. it's characters grappling with, you know, their own faith and the existence of God. Yeah. Signs, like, you know, this guy asks for it if he'll... You know, oh, no, it's a, yeah, a, yeah, it's a big giveaway. But you know, it's a case of you know, will someone must give him a sign that there's, there's an afterlife. There's yeah. So it's it's interesting. It's it's thought provoking. Mm. It's entertaining, but uh, yeah, mm. if I didn't see it, I wouldn't have missed it. Uh, uh, yeah, but I'm glad I did. Now no, I can. S- we saw William Peter Blatty's yes. Faith Trilogy. No, me too. I'm happy to have mm. seen it, and I can. I'll recommend it, but. Just w- with the caveat that you need to understand it's an old film. Mm. No, but, you know, no bells does. and whistles. But um. as for a directorial debut, mm. it felt like he, he sort of, he kind of tried too hard. He, he made it, he, he almost made it feel like a stage production of, of, mm. this, of the film. And I th- it's, yeah. It, yeah. Came across That's like a, good, a stage good way, Good way to, to describe it. Yeah. But for a debut, it was it was yeah, good. good, but as a whole, for me, it's mm-hmm. much, very much a five score. Mm, I'm also giving it a mm. five. Yeah. Okay, yeah. don't want to give it less than no, that because there are no. some. There's some res- good redeeming bits. factors for mm. sure. Yeah, but just again, it's not a horror movie, Mm-mm. but mm. it's a part of a whole. The thumbnail for this thing must be not a horror movie. <laughs> but dot dot dot. Yes. <laughs> cool. If, if you haven't seen this uh, uh, and you did now go watch it, get back to us yes. and tell us what you thought. And also, if you've seen The Heretic, the second one of The Exorcist, we'll still watch it and do a review. Like, it. tell us because I'm really, I really want to see it, but we are going to have to mission to find a way to see it. No, no, it. it's just, it's, it's just, I don't want to use my credit card. Mm. I want to use PayPal, but I couldn't use PayPal, so I'll have to use a credit card mm. to to view it but mm, we'll, mm. we'll make a plan yes and we can come back and say told you so mm. we heard it's crap it is it crap it is crap or <laughs> oh my word no it's fabulous no nah, I doubt that <laughs> but uh, yeah like subscribe mm. tell your friends and your enemies support yeah we'd like to hear what you have to say yes. about all of these reviews you don't have to agree with us but no. tell us if you don't tell us what you don't agree with tell us what you like about these things and what you don't we love a philosophical mm. conversation that's all it can be i like it i didn't like it i'm indifferent mm. those are the only real options <laughs> or oh, i fucking despised it or oh, i loved it zero eyeballs ten eyeballs mm. that's 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 life yeah life is a scale mm. of zero to ten eyeballs mm. <laughs> Thanks for hanging around mm. and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>